Hello and welcome to The Soundtest Room. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. In this episode, I'm gonna tell you why I love Sequential so much. It's an older app, but it is a good one. Sequential is basically an effect glitching app. Glitches loops for you using different kinds of effects. Simple graphical user interface. It's so simple to use. Sequential doesn't really support in-app audio mode, nor does it work for audio audio bus, but you can still use it because it does support copy-paste in the form of clipboard copy-pasting. What you heard in the beginning was basically a dubstep loop that comes with sequential. Now the save function for presets, kind of weird. The way it works is like this. If you choose one of these AIF files, by the way, they're not waves, they're AIF. And when you choose one and you make some settings here, that's going to automatically save. So even if I close down the app, I choose another loop and I go back here and I load up dubstep beat 4, then pattern 7 is still going to have these changes made to it. I want to show you how easy it is to get something going. So if we take a listen to the original beat, I'm just going to remove my shuffling here and I'm also going to remove the strobing. <laughs> That's very interesting. It's it's already an interesting loop. And yes, you can put your own loops in here. So if we do a few changes. Let's pull a bit on this one. That's very cool. Now I set the length of the um, sequential window here to one bar, but I can actually set this to four bars and then this pattern will run faster as if it was four bars long. Now add a bit of strobing to that. That's a bit too fast for me. I'm gonna set it down to one bar again. And then add a bit of swing. <laughs> I love swing. So I'm gonna set that up to 70%. Let's say I wanna use this in a project, like in a door. You can record this. Now, to find what we've recorded, we go to the preset sound file selector. We go to recorded, and here we can find our dubstep beat for recording two. I've already recorded one before, so that's why there's already one in there. If we choose this one, it's gonna open up in a new window with no settings on it, and we can keep on glitching it. As in my case, I wanna use this in another door, like Cubase's. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna make sure that this one is selected, and I'm gonna press this one here. That is the copy button. And then I'm gonna go into audio share. Now that we're in audio share, all I have to do is press this green button here, press general pasteboard, and there's our loop. So you can see how useful this is. Now imagine putting in like vocals, maybe some arpeggios. You can do a lot of useful stuff using sequential and it's not very expensive. The price is right here. You can go get it using the app link down below. I'm not telling you to buy it, but you can if you want, just go check it out. Sequential is awesome. And the way you can re-glitch anything that's already glitched. So even though sequential doesn't have either audio bus, in-app audio mode, Mode or a proper audio copy and paste, it's still very useful. Now, I would love for Sequential to get some love from the developer, at least audio bus, maybe Ableton Link. Ooh, that would be awesome. As usual, Doug Woods, Colin Sweeney, and me, Jakob Hackett, the SoundTestRoom.com, wishes you a very productive week. Now, go finger your surfaces and have a lot of fun doing it. <laughs>